There are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series. Fond du Lac came into this regional final with a 19-2 record and had won the Fox Valley Association Conference. South was no slouch with their 17-3 record, but had lost their last game to Manitowoc, which cost them a share of the Fox River Valley Championship. This game was provided by Rocky Bergman, and his son Nate, only a sophomore, played an integral part in the outcome of the game. South was coached by Bob Ruskowski and Dick Diener, was Fondy's coach. Big Al Roberts has the call and I provide the color. Now it's time to get a soda and a bowl of popcorn and to sit back and enjoy the game. You the play-by-play -play for the game and the Fond du Lac Cardinals coming into the ball game today at 19 and 2 overall on the season while the South High Red Wings coming in at 17 to 3 and of course we mentioned Mike in the break that Sheboygan South trying to bounce back from a uh, bitter defeat last week up in Manitowoc. Yeah, that was a tough one. They uh, really made a game of it, though. They were down by, I believe, 14 or 16 points and came back and actually had the lead. So they showed that ability to come back. Uh, you can't just assume that they're put away because they'll come back. And the other thing, Al, that South is coming back from is last year they suffered an agonizing defeat to Fond du Lac, 61 to 60, right, right here. So they want to avenge so that. So they, they have a little bit of revenge on, the, uh, on their minds tonight. Uh, uh, of course, the superstar on the side of the Fond du Lac Cardinals is Drew Diener, and uh, Mike Drew only needs nine points today to go over the 1,000-point mark in only his junior year. Uh, like they say on ESPN, you know, you can only hope to contain him. Uh, T.J. Grams is going to be taking him today, and T.J. is a good defensive player, and uh, I don't know that he can shut him down to less than nine points, but, uh, you know, if you can control him... Uh, Manitowoc, I mean, Fond du Lac can be had. You know, there's no doubt right. about it. The starting lineups for Fond du Lac will have number four, the 6'6 junior, Casey Jaco. Number 10 will be the 5'8 senior point guard, Corey Higgins. And number 21 will be the 6'5 uh, junior, Drew Diener. Andy Rose, also a junior at 6'5, wears number 32. And Andy Malin. Number 34, a 6'3 senior, rounds out the starting five for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. It looks like a scrum, Al. Yeah, doesn't it? I noticed that in the pregame, they didn't try to run us over today. No, they are at the <laughs> other end of the court. Thank goodness for them. Um, I, I saw you chatting with the officials before we got started. Did you happen to catch the names? Uh, Larry Mitcher is uh, the short, dark-haired gentleman, and uh, Jerry Halverson is uh, the taller gentleman. All right, so Larry and Terry doing the officiating today. Now for the home side, your Sheboygan South High Red Wings, number three, the senior leader and point guard, Ryan Miller. Next up, number 15, T.J. Grams, the 6'2 junior. At the other guard, a six-foot sophomore, number 33, Ryan Stubbe. The blue collar man underneath for Sheboygan South. Number 35, Nick Kulo, and number 45, the 6'4 sophomore will be Greg Stummersberger. Of course, getting the start for the injured Brad Hartman. Before we get started, and not to put the horse in front of the cart or any or whatever you want to say, but the winner of the, the game here will take on the winner of the Beaver Dam Oshkosh North game also being played today and uh, those two winners will meet again back here Friday night. Right here on Friday night and the uh, winner of course of that game will uh, meet uh, somebody else <laughs> in uh, Oshkosh for the sectional finals. On their way for, to the ultimate goal of the state final tournament. eight in the state tournament down in Madison. Getting set to jump center will be Summersberger up against uh, Andy Rose for Fond du Lac. 
I was talking to uh, Larry Michener, the official for the, before the game, like you mentioned. They worked the game last night in Milwaukee, so they've got the uh, state tournament experience. All right, tip is in the air, and Higgins controls for the Cardinals. Ryan Miller draws the defensive assignment. Drew Diener puts up the first shot of the ball game and draws a foul on T.J. Graham. So Diener will get the first two free throws of the game today. Well, last time we saw him uh, not take, not necessarily take his time, but uh, you know, put a few more passes into the offense and work for a little more open shot. That time he kind of forced it a little bit, and uh, T.J. of course fouled him. Diener coming off a 25-point performance against North on Tuesday night. He was four for seven from the three-point range, talking about Diener. And he was behind the three-point line, so he will get the third attempt here. And misses that one, so it's a 2 nothing early Fond du Lac lead. South with it. Kulo has it for the Red Wings. Kulo to Stubbe. Miller against Rose. Miller in the paint. Pulls up the little seven-footer off the front of the rim. Rebound to Summersberger. He's hammered underneath. Takes it back up and can't get the roll. Rebound to Diener. Good job of offensive rebound work by Summersberger, but unable to convert. Diener against Graham. Pulls up the shot at TJ with another foul. And two quick fouls on TJ Graham. Count the basket and a... Foul, so Diener will go to the line. Drew Diener's a scoring machine. He might be better served to try and uh, do a better job of denying him the ball. He's been able to receive it pretty easily. Ryan Gebler checking in for TJ Grams now for the Red Wings. As only 39 seconds have ticked off the clock, and in those 39 seconds, Diener has four points, and uh, Grams has two fouls. So the first five points belong to Drew Diener and the Fond du Lac Cardinals. The Red Wings still looking for their first bucket of the game. Miller for three off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Summersberger, and he's fouled from behind as Andy Malin gets the foul for the Cardinals. Well, that was an easy call. You're not going to get many easier foul calls than that one right there. But uh, again, uh, Summersberger uh, really a demon on the boards early on. Doing a fine job of boxing out. Geller to inbound. Stubbe with it. Oh, down underneath is Miller. He's underneath the bucket for the reverse two. Ryan Miller makes it a 5-2 ball game. Good feed in that time by Gebler. Bondelec up by three. Beener against Gebler. The lob into Jekyll. Jekyll pass. Kulo, the shot from the baseline. No good. Rebounded Ryan Miller. Back from the Red Wings. Ryan pushes the floor, now pulls it out. Stubbe for three, high off the glass, can't get it, and they're going to get Gebler. Uh, no. Is he going to get Higgins? Corey Higgins trying to block out, and he undercut him. That's why he went down. So Higgins will go to the line. I should say uh, get his first foul. Gebler to inbound right in front of us. Kulo's open underneath, and get it! Five, Again, four. a good pass by, uh, by Gebler. That's his second assist. Two excellent inbound plays for Sheboygan South here right in front of us, make it a 5-4 ball game. Miller plays the defense against Higgins. Passes off to Malin, who's free underneath for two. Very nice penetrating the pitch that time by Corey Higgins. That's the way. You, that's the kind of thing you got to control if you're a South defender. Seven to four. Stubbe on the drive. Pulls up the shot. A whistle and a hold. I think they're going to get Corey Higgins for his second foul. That'll be a big, big foul. That goes against Higgins because he is their ball handler. Nice. Higgins. Yep. He's definitely their on the court leader. Coming into the ball game is number 25, Mike Koenigs. Koenigs, I should say, for Fond du Lac. Ryan Stubbe will get a pair of free throws here. So that matches the uh, two fouls for Higgins and two on T.J. Grams. 
6.08 to go here in the first quarter. Just getting started at the 7-5 Fond du Lac lead. Make it 7-6 as Thubu makes both. Koenig's in the backcourt. Miller will get the assignment on him now. Koenig dribbles around. Kulo on the help defense. Jekyll with it. Jekyll against Summersberger. Both very active on their defense. Koenig's. Andy Rose now tries the baseline again. Summersberger counted in a foul on Summersberger. Andy Rose, a very quick move down the baseline, and uh, Summersberger was a little bit late coming over to help and uh, picked up the foul. A lot of free throws here early on, Al. Every foul, well, except for the two on this end because they were inbound plays for South, but every foul that uh, Fond du Lac has had resulted in uh, well, South attempts. has resulted in Fond du Lac right. free throws, that's right. That's what I meant. That's why there's two of us. Counted, it's a 10-6 lead for the Cardinals. Miller against Rose, dishes out to Kulo. Still be being guarded by Diener. On the baseline, they kick it back out on the wing. Gebler trying to work free underneath, but Fondy doing a nice job of defense. South very active also on the offensive end with the screening and uh, cutting. Miller tried the reverse. Nothing there. South patiently working the basketball. And the Fondy defense pleases the Fondy faithful. Miller on the spin move. He's going to get called for the travel. So the Cardinals will have it. We mentioned this the other night at North, but uh, one of the things that uh, cuts Fond du Lac uh, above the rest is their ability to play good, solid team defense, and we saw it right there. Nate Bergman into the ball game for the Red Wings. Miller going for the steal, almost had it. Uh, there, uh, loose on the baseline is Andy Rose for two. 12-6 lead. Miller pulls up from the elbow, hard off the glass, can't get it. Rebounded by Rose. And Diener comes away with the loose ball. He lobs to Jekyll. Rose with it. Oh, steal on the hold. And no call by Diener at South, throws it away. Thought maybe Diener got away with a hold there, but. One thing that uh, Kyle Gebler did is he had great anticipation and uh, was able to pick the ball off, but he wasn't able to uh, make a good pass to uh, Nick Kulo to bring it up the court. Instead, he threw it out yep. of bounds. Wolfel comes in for Sheboygan South. Kulo takes a lot, of, a lot of people this quarter, Al, which uh, could pay dividends later on when they need to uh, have good, good endurance or good stamina left. Koenigs. Into the game, number five is Dan Shrum. Oh, one-handed, left-handed shot, a whistle and a foul. I'm not sure who committed that foul. If it's Summersberger, it'd be his second. Dan Shrum came into the game off the bench against Sheboygan North on Tuesday night and scored 17 points for Fond du Lac. So, boy, they don't miss anything when Shrum's into the ball game. No, they don't. He's a very good player. And that was on Summersberger, and he also has two fouls now. Casey Jekyll, the 6'6 junior on the line for the Cardinals. 4.18 to go here in the first quarter. Fond du Lac up by six. Make it a seven-point lead at 13 to six. Bergman to Gebler. Miller in the paint. Ryan will draw the defense. Shot is up off the mark by Bergman. Nate not real confident that time putting the shot up. Diener pulls up the baseline shot. Short off the rim, rebounded Gebler. Well, you don't have to tell our viewers this, but I'll tell you, South is not shooting the basketball well at all this quarter. And boy, we saw that on Tuesday night at North. On the drive, Gebler counted and a foul on Andy Rose. Great drive to the basket that time. Really leaned into his defender and uh, 
kept good body control. Big free throw here for Gebler. Stuby comes back in, as does Kulo. Summersberger gets a break, along with Ryan Miller. So Kulo, Gebler, Stuby, Bergman, Bergman and, Wolf. and Wolf on the floor for the Red Wings. Jaco, Schrum, Diener, Koenigs, and Rose on the floor for Fond du Lac. On the miss, the Cardinals have it. Rebounded was Rose. Diener double teamed in the corner there, needs some help. And he lobs the pass, stolen by Stuby. Ryan pulls it out as the break wasn't there. Stuby with the behind the back dribble, loses it to Rose. That time getting a little too fancy. Well, he showed real good patience by uh, stopping the uh, fast break because he didn't have the number advantage, but then he just didn't handle the ball well. Jekyll on the baseline. Dishes off inside. The ball is on the floor, and a whistle, and again, a foul as Andy Rose will go to the line again. A lot of fouls being called on South underneath the basket here. Now they're piling up the fouls, and this, uh, this is not a good uh, situation here. That foul goes on Ryan Gebler, his first. That's five team fouls on South already. So far, Fond du Lac has made six out of eight free throws. They get seven out of nine now. Continuing from where they left off on Tuesday night, where they didn't miss too many free throws. 22 out of 33 they were. A whistle and a foul, and that one will go against Koenigs as Bergman will go to the line. Nate, the 5'8 sophomore for Coach Ruskowski and the Red Wings. One thing that Fond du Lac is getting is uh, real good contributions from Koenigs. He's handling the ball well and uh, playing pretty good defense, and uh, it's always nice when you have a lead and you bring in a substitute and he's able to, and you're able to maintain the lead with that substitute in the ball game. Especially when your big ball handler is sitting on the bench with two fouls. Exactly. And Bergman missed them both. South is only two out of five on their free throw shooting. So they not only are not making them from the field, they're not making them from the charity strike either. 15-8, Diener with it. Diener dishes off to Rose on the baseline. Count the basket and a foul again. Andy Rose is living on the baseline right now. Well, Diener really made that play with the penetration and Rose with a good cut. Got himself open. This is a different Andy Rose than we saw on Tuesday night. Andy only had six points in the game against uh, North on Tuesday, so he's really stepping it up early on here for the Cardinals. And going for point number 10 right here. And uh, Fond du Lac is uh, looking very good during the first quarter. And they lead it by 10. And Sheboygan South wants a timeout. Timeout South, 18-10. Fondy back after this. Hi, I'm David, and you're watching WSCS Community Television in Sheboygan. Coverage of WIA tournament action here on TV8, brought to you by your local Piggly Wiggly Supermarkets, the Big Wheel Skate Center, UW Sheboygan Center, and Badger Optical. Uh, Ryan Miller checked back in. Kulo back on the floor. Kulo on the baseline drive, and we've seen that often this year. Nick for two. And, and you know, my recognition by Nick to take it right to the hoop. You talk about how uh, when teams come out after halftime where the first couple of minutes are very important to a ball game, I think even though it's early that the next couple of minutes here are uh, big for South because they're down by eight with only 2.07 to go in the first quarter. Not to let this thing get away early on. Bounce pass, the baseline, shot off the rim, no good, rebounded by Kulo. A few times that Fond du Lac has missed, South has done a good job of rebounding. Miller for three, can't get it. The ball knocked away by Schrum, and South will keep it. Good call. South has made a living on these inbounds plays. Let's see if they can do it once more. Oh, yeah, alert to Kulo. Kulo drives the paint, count it, Nick for two. So after the timeout, Nick Kulo has four straight points.
18 to 12. Force some right, force some right. Kadig in the backcourt. Wolf will throw it low. Yep. He wanted to rotate up, but wasn't aggressive enough. Again, Fond du Lac throws over the press. I thought we did a test on that press once, <laughs> Al. Yes, we did. Everybody passed, don't you remember? That's right. <laughs> Except Wolf. Oh, there's a travel on Jaco. Yes, sir. Turnover. One thing about this press, when you double team the ball, your back defenders have to be aggressive enough to come up and uh, look for the interception. Kulo with the spin move, short off the rim, but rebounded Jacob. Well, that wasn't a good drive that time by Nick. He tried to force the action. He was well covered that time. Under a minute to go. Andy Rose takes the shot from the elbow. Nobody covering him, and he puts up for the easy two. Well, I'll tell you, Andy Rose is doing it inside and out and from the free throw line. Too low with it in the corner. Again, South is down by eight. Bergman shot off the back of the iron. Rebounded, knocked out of bounds by Jacob, and it belongs to South. Dusty Thicket, the mascot, making the call in front of us on that one. Dusty's got a little <laughs> basketball sense. Again, Gebler inbounds. Miller with it. Bounce pass. Kula will drive the lane and take it hard to the glass. Can't get the rebound. Jake Allaire for the Cardinals on the rebound. Nick with two uh, missed shots right there. Diener with it. Almost a steal. Rose with it. Counted again for Andy Rose, and he is feeling it today. A big first quarter for Rose. The buzzer sounds. It's a 10-point Cardinal lead at 22-12. Back for quarter two after this. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. You know, Mike, one of the things that a lot of coaches and a lot of players will tell you about Fond du Lac, why they're so tough to beat, is because not only are they good fundamentally, but they're also good mentally. And I think we had a little bit of a mental lapse that time as the quarter ended on the part of South. Now, Nate just kind of walked the ball up. He didn't realize the urgency of the, of the clock and that you need to get it up quick. And uh, got to keep your head in the ball game. 22 to 12. So again, South finds themselves down by 10. Ryan Miller will uh, draw the foul, and Andy Rose will get it. And wow, did Andy Rose have a heck of a first quarter for the Cardinals. Yeah, 14 points. But I'll tell you, you know, we've talked about Fondi and their defense, right? On that very first play when South brought it up, they had a triple screen set up for uh, Ryan Stubbe, and uh, Koenigs was right out there on him and prevented that, uh, what was supposed to be a wide-open three-point shot. And it's that kind of defense that uh, helps you move, up, move through the state tournament. Team fouls are even at six apiece. The only problem is Fond du Lac has a 10-point lead. Gebler's loose underneath. Got it. Gebler for two. Now, the one thing that really made that play was not only the penetration and dish off by uh, Stubbe, but uh, Gebler never put the ball on the floor. He just made his move right to the basket. There's the lob pass to Andy Rose down low. The spin move, and again, Rose draws the foul. And that one will go against Wolfel. So... Rose doing a heck of a job underneath. Very good, good look of uh, Mark Wolfel. You know, what, me? I didn't touch him. <laughs> Which always tells you that uh, they are guilty. That's right. Well, Andy Rose is uh, doing it all here for Fond du Lac. 14 points, and he's on the line to shoot a couple more. He was 4 for 4 from the free throw line in the first quarter and had uh, five baskets. So he continues his good play. Well, you look around, and this place is just packed. Yeah, they're at the uh, exits all lined up, four and five deep, and uh, all the bleachers are filled up. Even got them right in front of the table in front of us. That's right. <laughs> 24 to 14, and Andy Rose has a seat to a rousing show of appreciation from the Fond du Lac faithful. 
I think even the South fans were clapping he's yep, out of the game. There was a few of them. T.J. Graham's back in the game after. And Katings will get called for the blocking foul. After uh, Mike Canix is going to be his second. And uh, Ryan Miller will step to the line shooting the uh, old-fashioned bonus. you got to make the first to get the second. These are important points. And who does Coach Dick Diener bring in the ball game to spell Andy Rose? Dallas Diener. Well, we didn't see him. No, last, we didn't see uh, Dallas on Tuesday night, so this Dallas is our first is look. Dallas only a ninth grader. Right. The only freshman on the floor, for that matter. Dallas Diener, a six-foot freshman, wears number 12 for Fond du Lac. Of course, the younger brother of the superstar Drew, who's only had five points, but boy, Andy Rose is uh, making up for he's for making, that. He's making up for any deficiencies any of the other Cardinal players are having today. Making a 24-16 lead for Fond du Lac as they have been in front from the onslaught here as they rushed out to a quick 5-0 lead. Oh, steal in the backcourt. South has it. Miller with the dish off the Stuby, and he's hammered. And the ball knocked out of bounds. I don't think really Ryan uh, Stubbe thought he was going to get the ball that time. No, I think Ryan Miller usually shoots that ball, yeah. but he could sense that he was surrounded by much taller people and made the correct play. Stubbe to inbound. Takes the lob out to Miller. T.J. Graham's back into the ball game for the Red Wings. Stubbe from the wing, off the rim, and rebounded by Diener. Ball knocked away in the backcourt. Fond du Lac fans want a call and no call. Fond du Lac not giving Sulz many wide open shots. They're uh, contesting everything. Jaco working against Wolfel. Wolfel doing a nice job of defense. Shrum, lob pass to Jaco. Jaco turn around, four footer is short off the front of the rim. Rebounded south. Here comes Bergman with it for the Red Wings. See if we can capitalize. Stubby for three off the back of the rim. Nobody there for south. And Koenigs comes away with it, and Wolfer will get the foul. Yeah, that was about a 90-foot dump foul right there. Yes, it was, Coach. Well, that time, uh, Ryan Stubbe had a nice open look and, uh, again, just not able to put it down. South has just not been shooting well here so far in the ballgame. And we mentioned it's so tough to get an open uh, look at, uh, especially outside, too. Fond du Lac is so tall that they have to, you have to put an extra arch on that shot that you're not normally accustomed to. Right, and because they're taller than you, they don't have to be right up on top exactly. of you. Exactly. Well, there's going to be an over-the-back foul on uh, Jekyll. And we even talked, yeah, not to go to keep sounding redundant and going back to Tuesday night's game, but you talk to some of the players on North, and they'll tell you the same thing, that it was so tough to shoot over those taller Fond du Lac kids. Mark Wolfel's going to tone for his uh, bad foul just a couple of seconds ago with a couple of free throws here. The foul on Jaco for Fond du Lac. Salt is only four out of seven from the line here so far this afternoon. Come on, Mark. There you go. Can we do that? We've been doing it all year. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to stop us now. Okay. All right. Make, both of them may make it a six-point lead, so got to play some defense here talking about the Red Wings. 24 to 18. Timeout Fond du Lac. 6-11 remains in the half. Back after this. Hi, I'm Anna, and you're watching WFBS Community Television in Sheboygan. Tidy Car, the Laundry Center in Lakeland College, bringing you coverage of WIAA Regional Tournament Action here on your local source for sports, TBA. Coach Mike Martin and Al Roberts bringing it to you here. Well, Mark Wolfel now has uh, Diener. They're really changing up on him quite a bit. South trapping in the backcourt, and Diener gets it across. Drew pulls up the shot from the elbow. A wild shot. Rebounded south. Coming out of there was Grams with it. Pull up by Kulo off the glass. He can't get it as he split the defenders. In the backcourt, they knock it away, but it belongs to Fond du Lac. Right in front of the Fond du Lac crowd. Well, I think that uh, shot, that double hit shot, was by uh, Stubbe. But uh, not a good shot that time. 
Dallas Diener dishes off underneath, and Jekyll gets the two. First basket by Jekyll. He's got three points. Bergam into Grams. Grams will take it into the paint, and he walks. Man. Bonwack switched up their defense that time. They were in a 3-2 uh, defense, or maybe it was a 1-2-2, two, two, but uh, they weren't in their customary man-to-man. Kulo -man. and Gebler checking in as Stubbe and uh, Wolfel check out. Oop, that's your job. That's all right. <laughs> you do that once a game, so I expect that at least one. 26-18. Higgins back into the ball game for Fond du Lac. Trum, Higgins, Diener, Diener, and Jekyll, the five on the floor for the Cardinals. Bounce pass down low to Schramm. Schramm over everybody, can't get the roll, but a whistle and a foul. And they're gonna call TJ Grams for his third foul. Wow. Well, I didn't see anything uh, in there that uh, would lead me to believe that he committed a foul, but uh, that the referee is a certainly saw something. Big, big foul for T.J. Graham. You know, it's really frustrating, too, if you're T.J. Graham. It's not that I'm trying to think for him, but he hasn't been on the floor that long, and he's got the three fouls, and he just hasn't been able to, to get into the flow, the feel of the game, or anything like that. That's exactly right, and uh, it's really frustrating for him. It's frustrating for uh, Coach Ruskowski also because you want to have your best players out there. So to the line, the freshman, Dallas Diener for Fond du Lac, and he bricks that one off the back of the iron and rebounded nicely by Gebler. Graham stays in for South. Grams, Bergman, Miller, Gebler, and Kulo on the floor for the Red Wings. From the corner and the travel by Bergman. 26 to 18. 449 to go here in the second quarter. That's three lost opportunities for South here within about the last minute and a half. There's a good matchup, Bergman and uh, Higgins. Oh. Oh, how did he miss that? The ball bounced off of well, Higgins. Not only foot. that, he, he not, uh, Higgins made a good cross body block to yes, keep he him from getting the ball. Wow. Well, that'll happen. That's why we sit here. 26 to 18. It's a eight point. Oh, Shrum on the reverse, but he gets whistled and draws the foul, so Shrum will go to the line. Both are shooting themselves in the foot here the last couple of, uh, about the last two minutes or so. They're getting some good opportunities, but they're turning the ball over. And, and we, we, we've seen Fond du Lac do that before. They, they held, there was an eight minute span in the first half in their win over Sheboygan North where North didn't get a bucket from the field. So Fond du Lac has done that before. And able to hold down the other the things, teams. Yeah, it's one of the things that uh, makes you a cut above is your ability to play real good defense, and uh, we've seen that from Fond du Lac. That foul was on Ryan Miller, which was his first. And Shrum only makes one out of two. It's up to a nine-point lead. 27 to 18. South had the lead down to... Oh, Kulo is open for three. Oh, off the rim. And rebound... Knocked out of bounds, and it'll belong to South. That time, Gebler thought he had to put back, and from behind, he got it knocked away. And that uh, knocked away was by uh, Drew Diener. Uh, pardon me, Dallas Diener. Oh, nice shot. Oh, and they miss it. Rebounded by Wolfo off the glass and can't get it. And again, missed opportunity by the Red Wings. Wow. Higgins on the penetration. Jekyll out on top. Higgins on the drive, a wild shot, rebounded by Wolf. That time he got caught where he wasn't supposed to be. Well, I think somebody got a piece of the ball, too, as he was uh, going to put the shot up. Miller, he's trapped. Kulo with it on the wing. Trying to get it to Gebler, and it's off of Diener's hand. Nope. Gebler hit it last. Bounce pass might have been more in order on the entry to a Gebler. 
Bergman has the seat as uh, Stubbe comes back in for the Red Wings. Sheboygan South stuck on 18 here for a while. And Diener finally gets it in. Good job of passing through the press. Rum pulls up the shot from the free throw line and gets it. It's an 11 point lead. It's the biggest lead of the day. 29-18, Fond du Lac in control. They have been from the start. Ball is knocked out of bounds. And it'll belong to South as the referees converge and give it to the Red Wings. This uh, zone defense has really befuddled South because, uh, number one, they're not shooting well from out, and uh, they're having a hard time penetrating. Wolfel kicks it back out. Miller with the dish. Wolfel with the baseline jump shot. Count it. Mark Wolfel for two. Wolfel with four points this afternoon. And a steal. Miller's open against Diener. Count it. Ryan Miller. 29-22. The pressure again in the backcourt by South. They got him trapped on the baseline. Steal by Stubbe. Stubbe traveled with the basketball oh, and a foul. Fouled. Okay. And Shaboy gets South starting to heat the defense up in the backcourt, causing two consecutive turnovers. One of the things that's uh, really helping South on this pressing defense is their trap is, applying, is being yes. applied very quickly and uh, the third defender is getting himself in great position to pick the pass off. That follow was on Shrum, his first. And on that last uh, trap, that was a good illustration of uh, how you use the uh, sideline to, as the other person on your side to force uh, the offense with no, nowhere to go. He had no outlet. Right, one more defender when you can use that sideline. Big free throws here for Ryan Stubbe. A lot of problems shooting free throws in the first quarter. So far, they're five out of five from the line here in the second. Coming back in is Bergman, and Wolfel has a seat. Mark Wolfel doing a nice job that time with his minutes off the bench. Ain't a bad foul, but came back, hand a couple of free throws, and got a basket here. They've turned an 11-point lead. They got him into just a five-point lead for Fond du Lac on three consecutive turnovers. Steal by Miller. Miller has it. Over to Stubbe. Counts it. And Fond du Lac wants timeout. 29-26. Fond du Lac leads it. We're out of here. Back after this. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. We're Brewers fans. Brewers fans are the best fans in baseball. We live responsibly because we always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Fans don't let fans drive drunk. Brewers fans don't let fans drive drunk. Respect, Respect the road and buckle up. Every trip, every time. Responsibility has its rewards. Go, Go Brewers. Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Sheboygan South on an 8-0 run. At the last timeout, they were trailing 29-18. At this timeout, it's 29-26. Mention this that uh, Salt is not giving up on the double team. That and time Salt got called for the foul. Yeah, reaching in. We used to do a, a little drill. I know I've mentioned this in other broadcasts. We call it mirror the basketball, where you play one on one, and wherever the offensive player moves the ball, that's where you move your hands. However, you'd never reach in, and uh, that time uh, Gebler got caught reaching in to pick up his second foul. Fond du Lac in the double bonus now. They will get two at the line. Talking about Koenigs. Koenigs missed an earlier bonus free throw attempt. He'll have two now. What's really giving Fond du Lac fits is that initial inbounds pass because South is right there with two players and really that Fond du Lac person who gets the pass really having a hard time getting off a second good pass. Well, what you got to do in that situation is get rid of the ball right away. And uh, maybe what you want to do is look to the inbounds passer to just throw it right back to him as he steps in bounds. 31-26, still a five-point lead for the Cardinals. Bondi still in the zone also. Stubbe throws up the three off the rim. Rebound battle for and Travel. comes away with it is Painting. And he travels with the basketball. That brings Coach Diener off the bench. The South High Jim starting to heat up here. 
Two and a half to go here in the second quarter, and again, South trying to cut into this lead. Miller has it. He's open for the three from the top. Oh, around the rim. Rebound to Stuby. He's got Diener in the air, and he uh, misses the, the putback. And then he gets the foul. Wow. Just underlaid the, the simple putback, and then he committed the foul. He did everything right. He had Diener in the air, was open for the shot, but missed it. Well, we got 224 left, and uh, Corey Jekyll to the line to shoot a pair. Has a chance, actually, to make this a four-point swing here. Very big swing here. Let's hope uh, South can uh, maintain some momentum. That's off the mark. And he was the one. He I remember one that three throw from night. Tuesday. <laughs> he had two consecutive air balls, and he's probably thinking, are you kidding me? Then the third one, he really bricked it hard off the rim, kind of right. like that. Oh, and... Sh uh, Dallas, Dallas Diener, Diener comes away with the rebound. Wow. Jekyll makes up for the misses and gets the two. And Sheboygan South just fell asleep right there. 33-26. The Red Wings have it. Miller with it. Bounce pass to Kulo. They kick it back out. On the base. Oh, nice bat. Interior pass. And Kulo goes after the rebound. And he's hammered by Drew Diener. We're seeing a lot of talking by uh, both teams to the officials, and that's not a good sign. Drew Diener is going to pick up that ball. It's only his first. Good ball movement that yes, time. Yes, that was South. excellent ball movement as they got the shot they wanted with Kulo on the baseline. And it appears to me, Mike, that um, you can get Diener to leave his feet if he's going to play down low defense. Um, we saw it with... Uh, uh, Stuby missing Stubie the shot, it. and Kulo just did it again. Yep. Don't really know if that's a uh, hindrance to uh, Diener's game, but uh, you can get him to leave his feet. That's something that college coaches will look at, but that's something you can teach. You can work with that. Sure. That time the Cardinals, well, they don't get it across. Now they do. Still a five-point lead at 33-28. Fond du Lac has led the entire way here from basket number one. Diener pulls up the baseline shot and got it. And that's his first bucket since he put in the first five of the game. And that was a real nice shot because uh, Ryan Miller was right on him. That was uh, really a great play. Kulo in that zone kind of didn't know what to do with it that time when he got the ball. Pulls up the shot from the wing. Count it for Bergman. Well, it's good to get him started. Yes, it is. He can keep going because they need some scoring from other... Uh... Dallas gets a stole from behind. The ball is on the floor. Bergman has it. Looking for some help. Fakes the pass. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Mint Bergman. That was a good call. It was real good defense that time by Mike Koenig. Bergman picks up his first. Uh, that will not be a shooting foul since it was player, player control. control. And we've said it before, Fond du Lac does a heck of a job of getting back on defense. You can just see the score on your screen. South down by five with a minute 10 left in the quarter. That time I think what happened in the case of Bergman, he got the steal, he was coming down to take it in. He was looking for Kulo. Kulo was coming down on the other on end, the right but, side. but I think Fond du Lac did a nice off. job of plugging the passing lane and he was unable to get it to him that's 2020 hindsight it's real easy to say but the better play would have been to either pull it, pull out, it out or stop and shoot the thing you know the right. 10 foot jump shot so the cardinals have it with a five point advantage with 105 to go here in the second quarter jaco with it against kulo Diener around the rim and can't get it. Kulo gets the rebound for South. Kulo had to go over Bergerman to get that yes, one. Yes, he did. Miller with the spin move. Well, almost Kulo. Almost yeah, he almost again. did. Court awareness. He knew where his teammate Kulo would be. Might be a good idea for South to uh, pull it out and uh, take the last shot, and that's exactly what they're going to do. 28 seconds to go here in the quarter. Nate. I should say uh, Ryan Miller with it for the Red Wings. 
Now, I hate it when they take too long to get going here. Okay, now they get things going. 10 seconds to go in the quarter. They swing it to the corner, back out. Oh, losing a handle and a double dribble. How many times have you seen that where that team takes, pulls it out to the last shot and then doesn't get a good shot? What can I say? Drew Dieter with the three off the mark, and he will get three with .4 seconds to go in the half, and Drew Diener will get three free throws. Nate Bergman will get the foul for Sheboygan South, and that, the, the bad thing about that is that shot was way off the mark. Well, what, what happened, too, as uh, Drew Diener was bringing the ball up the floor, Bryant Stubbe was uh, late applying the double team. If he could have got there a little sooner, Diener would have passed the ball off. But uh, as it was, he wasn't able to catch up and uh, apply more pressure to him. So Diener will go to the line. Diener is three out of four so far. That is Drew's eighth point of the game, and that makes it 1,000 points for Drew Diener in his career here at, or I should say, at Fond du Lac. Make it 1,001, so Drew Diener, a milestone in his career for the Cardinals. Big three points right there. And the shot is up, and the buzzer sounds. Half time. Fond du Lac out in front, 38 to 30. When we come back, the South High Dance Team will be on the court. Hi, I'm Kyan Howland, and you are watching WSCS Community Television in Sheboygan. I won't blow it, but the ending to this thing is excellent. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, 
you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn and slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Back we are at Sheboygan South. We are getting set for quarter number three. WIAA Regional Tournament Action being brought to you here on TV8 by your local Piggly Wiggly Supermarket, the Big Wheel Skate Center, the UW Sheboygan Center, Badger Optical, Tidy Car, the Laundry Center, and also by Lakeland College. Coach, run down a point. Or Fond du Lac, uh, Casey Jekyll with five, Dan Trump with three, Drew Diener with 10, Mike Koenigs two, Andy Rose with 16, 14 of those coming in the first quarter, Andy Maline with two, for South Miller with six, Bergman two, Gebler four, Stuby six, Kulo eight, and Mark Wolfel with four. Uh, free throw shooting. Fond du Lac finished 16 for 23, 69%. South finished 10 out of 13, 76%. Uh, was 8 out of 8 in the second quarter. So they made up for that slow start in the second quarter. The other thing that could be a telling statistic is South committed 14 fouls in the first half to uh, Fond du Lac's 9. Uh, the only person in real foul trouble is uh, T.J. Grams with 3. Still by South, so South uh, comes through on the defensive end to start things here in the third quarter. Fond du Lac leads it by eight. Oh, rebounded, knocked out of bounds, and again, a bunny missed by Sheboygan South. And not only missing the bunny, but then not getting away from each other, Kulo and Summersberger, that is. Boy. And that's a stat that doesn't really show up on the stat sheet, but uh, that's been haunting them the whole game is those shots they've had open and underneath the bucket and haven't been able to put them down. It all comes down to finishing, and Jaco finishes that one. No, he doesn't. Gets his own rebound, but he finishes that one. Nice penetrating the pitch that time by Fond du Lac. I think that was uh, number five, Dan Shrum. Miller on the drive. He can't get it. Rebounded Summersberger back up and in. That time, Greg put it up and in. 40 to 32. Fondy leads it. Oh, and a steal, and they're going to get Bergman on the reach on the double team. So Nate gets another foul. That'll be number three on Bergman. So you got a quick look of the uh, Fond du Lac Green Trust. Higgins on the attack for the Cardinals. Diener against Bergman. Drew gets it knocked away, bounces it to Higgins. Higgins on the drive and shot way off the mark, and Summersberger again on the rebound. T.J. Graham's with it. I'm sorry, uh, one of the South defenders got a piece of the ball that time. That's why uh, it was such a bad miss. Bounce pass down low to Kulo on the spin move, and he works his way past Drew Diener for two. Good job by Nick. Good tenacity, good offensive move. He was not to be denied that time. It's a 40 to 34 game. Steal by Ryan Miller in the backcourt. Miller drives, dishes, and a blocking foul on Fond du Lac. Trump's going to pick up his second. Miller doing a nice job of trying to find the open man on the other side of the lane. Quickly off the bench comes Koenigs back in for Higgins. I don't think so. Ryan Miller's lining up at the free throw line, but I don't think they're going to have him shoot because he dished the ball off right. at the end. So they'll line up for the inbound uh, play that they've been successful with. Bergman's open for three. Count it, Nate Bergman! And that's our first three-pointer of the game by either team. And that comes by the sophomore from South. It's a 40-37 to 37 game. They got him trapped in the backcourt. Still by... Chamoy gets south as T.J. Grams has it. Grams counted it. We're tied. Fond du Lac wants time out. We're tied at 40. Back after this. And Alex, you watching WSCS Community Television in Chamoygan. Well, back we are at Chamoygan South as coming out of the gate from halftime, the Red Wings are on a 10-2 run. Good enough to tie this thing up at 40, Mike. And you mentioned at the break that. Uh, Fond du Lac having a tough time with the press in the second and early third quarters here. 
That time they break. Andy Rose against Kulo. He can't get it. Battling for the ball. T.J. Graz will come away with it. And South with a chance to go ahead. That's a key uh, thing that you mentioned because in the game against North, they only, Fond du Lac only had two turnovers in the second and third quarters. And again, Kulo on the miss. And that was a good shot for Nick. Well, there's uh, Fritz Sink's uh, angle at the at the court. And, uh, his, his camera is almost rendered useless because of the excitement the fans are feeling. Well, they've been standing, standing up, up ever since the opening tip. Yeah, but those are the lower fans. Right. right now we got the upper fans standing up, and it's hard for him to get a good look at uh, the action. So Sheboygan South lets an opportunity go by the wayside on Kulo's miss. Back come the Cardinals with it. Oh, Schramm open in the lane, in and out, and rebounded off of Schramm's hand. You know, we talked about Wolko. South missing some bunnies. Fond du Lac has done uh, us a couple of favors by missing two in a row here in the third quarter. You mentioned Schramm at 17 points on Tuesday night. That one would not fall for him. So again, South with a chance to take the lead. Fond du Lac is back into a man-to-man. -man. Uh, they had pretty good success playing his own. Bergman needs some help as he slips on the floor. To the rescue is the senior leader, Ryan Miller. He dishes off. Three grams way off the mark. And over the back is going to be called on Diener. And Drew Diener doesn't like it. Boy, not much, question it good ball. not much question about that, though. Wolfo was standing right there. Come on, guys. This is the third opportunity to take the lead here now. Ball knocked away by Diener, stolen away by Miller, and they're going to get a reach-in foul. And that Koenig. will go against Koenigs of Fond du Lac. That's going to be a third team foul on Fond du Lac. South only has one. Two. Oh, no, don't tell me I missed a foul. <laughs> <laughs> I we'll, hate that when that happens. We'll catch up somehow. Somehow somebody will... That same guy will fall right. again, then we'll catch right. up. I didn't mean to burst your bubble there, big guy. <laughs> Gonna lose my title here, the scoring god. Ryan Miller penetrates the lane, dishes off right through the hand of a wide open Nate Bergman. Opportunity number four by the wayside to take the lead. South doing everything right here except for putting the ball in the in the hoop right now. Well, not only that, Al, but just uh, getting an opportunity to put it in because that ball went out of bounds. And uh... Jaco handling the ball takes the shot. One running one-hander is good, and Fondy back out in front, 42 to 40. That time, finally, I got the ball up in a hurry for an easy two for Jaco. Well, that might be one of the keys instead of throwing it up to the throwing it into the guard, getting it up to half court, and then working from there. TJ Grams leads for Gebler, who's back in. Bergman on the baseline gets around high off the rim, rebounded Jaco. The presence of Diener there forced. Uh, oh, he's Bergman. wide open. He'll take that any time. Hit that. Oh, and miss it. Over the back is Rose. No call. Rebound Jaco. He puts it up and got it. And Fond du Lac now on a run at South wants timeout. Sheboy gets South timeout. Fondy by four. South no, they threw away. it away. They threw it away. Unbelievable. Back after this. Hi, I'm Tim, and you're watching WSCS Community Television in Sheboygan. Boy, you try and you fight so hard to get back and tie this thing up at 40. They've had four opportunities to take the lead and miss it. Then you fall asleep bringing the ball up when uh, the coaching staff wants a timeout. Well, the one South player turned around to the ref and called timeout as his teammate was passing it past him out of bounds, and uh, that'll cost South the turnover. Fond du Lac will get the ball with a four-point lead, and for it, Casey Jekyll, number four for Fond du Lac, has all the points for uh, the Cardinals this quarter. So just as Andy Rose had a phenomenal first quarter for Fond du Lac, they turn to somebody else, and right now, Casey Jekyll, the go-to guy for the Cardinals. 44 to 40, so is it going to be another uh, situation where Fond du Lac weathers the other team's storm? Good try, Andrew. 
Ball down low as Malin back into the ball game for Fond du Lac. Diener pulls up the shot from the wing, off the rim. Ball is loose and off the feet of Malin and a block to South. T.J. Graham came very close to picking up his fourth foul on that uh, shot by Diener. Bergman with it for Fond du uh, for South. Graham, Kulo, covered on the three. Grams will work against Marlene. Gebler will draw the blocking foul on Higgins. Good step out defense by Fond du Lac. Higgins a little too aggressive that time, picks up his third foul. Now there's a kid that should be ready to go, Al, because he sat out just about <laughs> the entire second, second quarter. Back into the ball game is Ryan Miller. Stubbe will have a seat. And with three fouls, Higgins will stay in for Coach Diener's Cardinals. Miller working on Andy Rose. Leads the three for Gabler off the rim. Rebounded Marlene. Higgins, he carried it. Oh, he got away. Oh, free throw shot. No, they pass it up. And Fond du Lac starts again. Oh, cross court to Higgins. Side. Takes the three. Higgins on the penetration in the lane. Knocked away, and Gebler comes away with it. Hey, Miller well, has wheel action by Jay yeah. to get by the defender. Ryan Miller pull, gets uh, Rose in the air. He leaves for Bergman. Bergman out on top between the circles. Now dribbles from the free throw line. Got it! Nate a little out of control, but gets the shot to foul. Good body control as he reached the apex of his jump to get that shot off. Ooh, the apex of his jump. You go, big fella. <laughs> oh, Ball knocked again. away. Good hand. On the drive and a steal. That's going to be four on Higgins. Phoenix is at the table checking in. As is Kulo for north, uh, south. Man, where'd that come from? Hey, you never know it. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, and we fall into that bunch. You know, you mentioned the brain trust of uh, Fond du Lac before. I was going to say, how come they don't ever show the, the brain trust of the broadcasting team? And then I thought, well, it's probably a good thing they don't. <laughs> although There's no look, brain trust here. Although we look pretty good today in our jacket and ties. Yes, sir. Miller got it! Oh! Tough shot by Ryan Miller. Tied up, Al. 44 apiece with 145 to go here in the third quarter. Sheboygan South has done a yeoman's job of getting back into this one. Looks like South is in his own defense of their own now. Koenig's with it. Jekyll in the paint. Jekyll off the mark. Rebounded by Ryan Gebler. Good job of boxing out that time by Gebler. Kulo pulls up the little eight-footer. Get the roll! Oh, yeah, baby. Baby. And Sheboygan South has its first lead at 46 to 44. That's your basic shooter's touch right there. I would say so. They're in a 1-3-1 half-court trapping defense. Underneath is Rose. Ball Good knocked hit. away by Ryan Miller. Here come the Red Wings. Good defense by Ryan Miller. Around Andy Rose and he draws the foul. No shot. Oh, they're all walking over. He's using the arm. He's using the arm. You got to move your feet, boys, in red. You want to stop Miller. Andy Rose with his second foul, or his third. And he's been relatively quiet after he got out to a fantastic start in the first quarter. What do you have, Mike? 14 points in that first quarter for Andy Rose? Yes, and then he chipped in a couple of free throws early in the second, and then uh, he was virtually silent. He was silent after that. Kulo can't handle the inbound pass. Saved by Miller. No. Wow. 55 seconds left here in the third quarter. And uh, South will be in the bonus the rest of the half. South with only two team fouls. Of course, according to Mike, they only have one. But <laughs> who's counting, right? Yeah, really. Fond du Lac. Oh, still. And uh, this time they're going to get Kulo with the reach from behind. Quickly off the bench will be Ryan Stubbe here. First fall on Nick. 
That's kind of surprising, Eloise Stoltz was piling up the foul total Early in on. the first half. Sure. 45 seconds remaining. We'll see what Fond du Lac does it before the horn. Katie's looking for Diener, and he's trapped on the baseline, and Bergman got away with a slap in the noodle. Well, I thought Diener got away. Oh, with stolen by Kulo! Nick Kulo! Oh, oh, baby! Oh, count it! A little bit of showtime by Kulo doesn't fall, but the putback is good. Nate Bergman on the basket. 48 to 44. South leads it by four. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. Big defense by the Red Wings. Jacob with it, way out on top. Diener puts up the three, off the mark, the horn south. The quarter is over. Sheboygan South leads it, 48 to 44. I am a Packer fan. And we're Packers fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the ultimate team players. The ultimate team player, be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Give me a little bit of March Madness, partner. Things starting to heat up here. South returned a favor for North High uh, last two, or on Tuesday night. Fondy shut down North for uh, six points. Uh, South did it to Fond du Lac here in the third. Six-point quarter, all six points coming by Casey Jekyll. So South with the ball and a four-point lead. Stuby to Miller. Ryan for three. Count the three. No, they're going to give him two. Whatever on it is, we'll take it. That's yep. a six-point lead. Now it'll be real interesting to see how Coach Diener's Cardinals come back being down by six. They've led the entire two and a half quarters to begin with. Ball stolen away by South. Big Good double team again. defense again. South is really putting the pressure on Al. Fond du Lac having uh, loads of problems trying to handle his pressure. Shot by Miller. Get in there. The senior makes the first two buckets out of the gate in the fourth fourth quarter, making it a 52 to 44 lead. South in front by eight. Shrum with it to Koenigs. South back to by hand -hand. Nope. Rose. Now Diener. Diener. Drew can't get it in a. Oh. And they're going to call a hold. Will it go? It'll be interesting to see if they give him the shot, and I don't think I they're don't, going to. I think Gebler got him. Yep. Gebler with the foul. His third. He's not the one you missed then, huh? No. Oh. <laughs> Beaner for three on the inbounds. Off the rim. Rebounded Rose. He'll put it back up and in. Automatic there for Andy Rose. Stuby on the dribble on the baseline. Tipped away. Casey Jekyll, good uh, timing on his jump and block the shot. 52-46, south out in front. They lead it by six. Oh, Katie's wide open, that's for two, got it. And the first basket for Mike Koenig. Starting to answer here. WIAA Regional Final Tournament action here from south is everything you could make it. Stuby, Miller for three from the top, tipped away. Rebounded, pulled out of there by Fond du Lac. Jekyll, Johnny on the spot that time for the Cardinals. Well, and I that's a that's classic that's illustration of how high you have to shoot over the Fond du Lac defense. That last basket by Koenigs was a three-pointer, L. Okay, they did give him three. I thought he was on the line. That's what I thought uh, our underneath official was pointing at. So it's a 52-49 to 49 ball game in favor of South. From the elbow, shot by Rose is no good. Rebounded, too low. And what are we going to get? Oh, the timeout because the net is... Uh, Gebler says, thank you very much. I'll fix it. <laughs> That's nice to be that tall. You know, jump up two inches and you got it fixed. There wasn't much light room underneath his foot in the floor there when he grabbed that. You'd need a trampoline, you or I, to get up there. And then I would need help. South is up by three. South needs a bucket here. 
to try to uh, take some wind out of the sails of Fond du Lac as they went on a little spurt themselves there. Oh, wide open is Grams for three. Count it, T.J. Grams! T.J. with six points, a couple of threes coming here in the second half. Not much air under his shot. That's kind of a line drive shot by oh, that's T.J. A Bobby Dandridge pancake jump right. shot. Good. There you go. Jekyll in the lane, th throws up the one-hander way off the mark, and Gebler comes out of there with it. Ryan Miller pushes the ball up the floor for the Red Wings. Five minutes to go here. South up by six. Summersberger, get in there, get in yeah. there. Count it in a foul. Greg Summersberger will go to the line. And that's Corey Higgins, fifth foul. And he is done. So for Corey Higgins, he put in 14 points in the game against yeah, North on Tuesday night from the line, the line he's been a non three. tonight. And that was a career high for Corey Higgins and absolutely kept quiet, really, tonight. Uh, and you got to feel bad for that young man because, uh, you know, he's out there playing hard and he's been such an integral part to his team. Uh, and he is a senior. Yeah. With his team down by eight, uh, like you mentioned, he uh, may have seen his last basketball action. We might see him in a couple more weeks, though, Al, when they come back for the Spring Classic. I'm sure he'll oh. be picked up by somebody to play in that. Speaking of the Spring Classic, uh, good basketball coming uh, Sheboygan's way because they always have excellent ball teams from around the state and then some right, that participate get, in that. Right, they get kids from uh, Michigan once in a while and Illinois uh, frequently and I'd recommend to all our fans get out and support your recreation department by attending some of those games. Yours truly will be there. You will? Sure. I always learn something from those guys. <laughs> I always like getting one of those early round games when they win by about 80 points. <laughs> that I don't care for. 58 to 49 and they will get Bergman with the foul from behind. Well, no, that's not smart. You know, no. you want to hound the dribbler, but you don't want to reach in and commit a bad foul like that. You want to hound him with your feet and not with your hands. And besides, that's uh, Nate's fourth foul. Now he does have to be careful. And he's not the one you missed either? Nope, not the one I missed either. Well, we're narrowing it down here. I think uh, I think the table was wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 would have have to, I would have to go with you on that one. Well, South up by nine. Boy, a defensive stop here would be uh, really great. Drew Diener, spin move, shot off the glass. Ball is taken by Dallas Diener, shot by Koenigs off the rim, rebounded Kulo. Good box out on the center of the lane by Nick Kulo. I'll tell you, throughout the course of the game, South has really done an excellent uh, rebounding job tonight or today. That's a real interesting matchup, Andy Rose against uh, Ryan Miller. Well, Miller goes right past and takes the shot from the side of the lane and gets it. And it's a double-digit lead for the Red Wings at 60-49. to 49. Well, Andy Rose played pretty good defense that time. He just didn't get Peter any help. Stepped on the baseline. No, he got the foul from behind. And will that be Summersberger? Well, I think Greg thinks it's him. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> And for Summersberger, see what happens. Calling it on number 45, that's great. You're checking to see if you got his count right, aren't you? He was the one guy that <laughs> hasn't been called for a foul yet that I remember. And score table slow of getting it up. That's, he's done. Man, I was three behind on yeah. him. <laughs> well, that's that foul that I missed, and then some. So you gave somebody the one that you were supposed to. <laughs> Greg Summersberger getting up. Uh, you gotta understand, fans. We're sitting at the end of the table. A referee always walks to the center of the floor and tells those uh, people at the official scorers table. They never come over here and talk to us. Oh, we gotta do something about that. Yeah, really. <laughs> we have our little crime scene rope around us today. Maybe that's why they don't come see us. Really? Is uh, was Wolfel the one that checked in for uh, Summersberger? Yes. So Summersberger is seeing his last playing minutes. Canning's with it. We're under four minutes in the game, and uh, South has an 11-point lead. Dallas Diener for three. Shot no good. Rebounded by Grams. 
Ryan Miller brings it across for the Red Wings. The winner. Not, not a good thing by uh, Fond du Lac. He's going to break that pressure. The winner here advances Friday night to the game. And they will take on the winner of Beaver Dam and Oshkosh North. And that game will be played right here at the Big Red Gym. Wolfel has a chance to bump it up to a 13-point lead. He's going to be uh, shooting a the old-fashioned one-and-one. Well, we saw at the 1 minute and 13 second mark to go into the third quarter, Sheboygan South took their first lead at 46 to 44. They had it up to as many as uh, 9. Then Fond du Lac came back, got it down to 3, and that's as close as they've gotten. And now South has returned the, the favor by making a run of their own. Well, we've talked uh, numerous times about Fond du Lac weathering the storm. I think we need to turn this around exactly. and talk about South that's, weathering the that's storm. That's what I was trying to get at because they, they, they kept their composure and now they've bounced right back. I'll tell you, the, the main thing I believe is uh, the defense that uh, South has put on the, the, the Fond du Lac Cardinals. They just were not able to cope with the double teams and the full court pressure that South applied. Off Kulo, oh, Kulo got it! Nick Kulo on the offensive rebound. 14 point lead now for South, three and a half left. 63 to 49. Sheboy gets South up by 14. Ball, oh, knocked away and Kulo gets called for the foul. For Nick, that's his second foul and uh, that'll put uh, Shrum on the line, shooting a bonus. No, Coach, I got to give you credit. I don't know if you looked into your crystal ball, but in the open, you mentioned one of the big guys on South that Fond du Lac is going to have to deal with was none other than Nick Kulo, and he's turning in a heck of a game today. Well, I was a little critical of Nick in that first North-South game about him bringing the ball up a lot, but uh, Coach Raskowski knows what he's doing, and he's an excellent ball handler, very quick to the basket. And uh, he's hard for other teams' big men to guard. And he's doing a heck of a job of boxing out on the on both ends of the glass for the Red Wings. And he's got some good rebounds today. Now Fond du Lac applies the pressure in the backcourt. Ryan Miller trying to dribble through it. Now he's trapped and bounces it across to Bergman. Bergman, oh, and Diener will get the foul. Give him the T. Give him the T. Oh, he's getting close. He's working on it. <laughs> Well, you don't see that very often. The referee tell him to go get the ball and bring it back, but yeah. uh, that's what Drew did. He showed enough composure to do that. Yeah. South may have caught a break on that one. So they walk it back the other way. How many is that on Drew? Three? Three fouls on him, and I was right on with his foul count. <laughs> I'll lay off of the foul thing now. Now, uh, Bergman missed two in the uh, first quarter. Let's see if he can come back and knock in a couple here. <laughs> South with a 13-point lead. Coach Diener on the sideline, just scratching his noodle over there. Well, he's not used to this. They only lost two games all right. year. Both of them were to Kakana. And, uh, Who they shared the Fox Valley Association title with. On the baseline is Dallas Diener. He can't get it. Rebounded by Ryan Miller and a whistle and a foul. We'll walk it down the other way. And Kulo's going to get a tee and rightfully so. I'll tell you what happened. Dallas Diener fell into uh, Ryan Miller and caught, committed a foul and that was called. And then Kulo went over and uh, was saying something to him and taunting him. Uh, Jerry Halverson, the other official, saw that and called a technical and that was the right call to make. South will get a couple of free throws. Fond du Lac will get a couple of free throws. Fond du Lac will then get the ball off. Right. Not a smart play by Nick. I'm sure that's exactly what uh, Coach Raskowski is telling Nick right now, along with uh, the rest of the South High players. The other thing that happens, that fall on, you know, that technical fall on Nick also goes on as his a, uh, personal, personal foul count, count right? so he's got three personals now. And it also tacks on another foul, so Fond du Lac is a little bit closer to getting to the super bonus. Right. Miller will take the Miller will take the shots in the free throw line. And Fond du Lac is arguing that it shouldn't be Miller at the line, but it's too late now. Now they're probably thinking, oh well. <laughs> That's the right call. Miller shoots his two. Right, because he got hammered over here underneath the basket. Fond du Lac will get their choice of shooters. 
Boy, when was the last time you seen Ryan Miller in this two in a row? Early in the year, I think I saw it happen, but you're right, that's uh, not a frequent happening. Well, there's still three minutes to play here. Sixty-five, fifty-two. Things getting hot and heavy here in the Big Red Gym. One out of four for the two leaders. Boy, now that you're not going to see no. very much of. Two fine free throw shooters, and there's uh, the brain tusk for South. Wojciechowski, Bristow, and Browns. Somebody from Fond du Lac. Oh. We got a problem in the stand. Okay. Because somebody's hurt. A fan. Or oh, they're going to remove somebody. Not being a uh, cooperative nice person. Yep. Tom Edson, Edson escorting that gentleman out. Oh, and you hate to see that. No, oh, that's from the cell section too. That was the point I was getting at. Okay, back to the court here. 65-52, ball knocked out of bounds by Diener, and a belongs to the Red Wings. Are you I was at our monitor. I was looking at the monitor. I didn't realize that was coming right at us. <laughs> but that fan in front of the table uh, took care of things for us. Get it across. They do. Wolfel has it. And now South pass the ball. Content with taking their time here. Miller has it, two and a, 235 to go, bounce passing it. T.J. Graham pulls it back out. South content that's Keep sitting the on the basketball moving. right now. What are we gonna get? A push by Koenigs. Yeah, and that will send uh, T.J., I believe, to the line. Tom Graham, uh, T.J.'s dad, coached uh, basketball for many years. A really an excellent coach out at uh, Howard's Grove and over at uh, Sheboygan Falls. And, he told, told us that he would run a little drill where they would practice having the lead and just moving the ball around, not letting the defense catch up to the ball where they could where they could foul. And that way you run more clock. That for Wolfel is his uh, second miss. He's made three out of five so far. Gebler's gonna come in for him. There you see Dusty. Taking a break. Well, he <laughs> figures they got a pretty good lead here. We'll win this ball game, and hopefully they will, but not with that kind of free throw shooting. Too low attempted tip in is no good. And the Cardinals bring it back. 2.25 to go. Diener for three off the rim. And they're going to get Andy Rose for the push, push on Nick Tulo. And they'll walk it back the other way. Again, the winner here, Mike, will take on the winner of the Oshkosh North Beaver Dam game, which is taking place as we speak right now. So, uh, well, the best part about all this, Al, is we'll be back, back next week. Back here Friday. You could see us or hear us uh, next Friday. Hopefully everything will work out here this afternoon. And then should South win next Friday night here at South, uh, they will play Oshkosh in Oshkosh at Oshkosh North, I believe it is, on Saturday. And we would do that game also, provided they, they advance. Got to take care of business with 2.22 to go here first. That's right, and uh, Kulo certainly did. 67 to 52. The Cardinals in trouble. Ball stolen away by Graham. Look out! Oh, and he laid it up and in. I thought maybe TJ was going to try to bring the roof down. His soulmate, Kebler, would have dunked that yeah, one. Yeah. Timeout, Fond du Lac. It's a 17 points off lead. Back after this. I'm Mike, and you're watching WSCS Community Television here in Sheboygan. Now, one name we haven't been able to mention all game has been Brad Hartman, uh, injured in practice on Wednesday. But uh, Mark Wolfel and Greg Summersberger have combined for uh, 10 points and a lot of rebounds and have really uh, helped pick up for the slack that. Uh, Hartman has created, or his injury has created. Blocked by hey, uh, Bergman. Shot blocked by Bergman. Did you see Nate get up there? <laughs> right in front of the Fond du Lac uh, crowd. And I love this cheer. Kadigs for three. Count it. 69-55. Sheboygan South out in front. Miller. 
passing the ball around are the Red Wings. Diener fouls from behind, and the senior guard for Sheboygan South, Ryan Miller, will get his chance at the line. Ryan Miller has 14 points so far. Six of those coming here in the uh, second half. I remember the first time talking about that chair, Mike, that the student section for South does. I remember the first time they did it, they startled me. Oh. I'm not, well, the entire student section gets into it. It's just not half or whatever, but the whole the whole section does. Yeah, they get uh, good teamwork. Yes. By the way, I made a mistake. Uh, Miller now has nine points here in the second half. He had six in the first half and uh, has 16 points right there. 71-55, it's a 16-point bulge for the Red Wings. Diener off the glass for two. Beautiful leap and leaner, that's only his third basket, L. Yep. Foul in the backcourt, and that's going to go against Diener again. And that'll be his fifth. So that is all for the junior, Drew Diener. He had 25 points on Tuesday against North, and today he finishes with only 13. And only three here in the second half. So a heck of a job on defense on Drew Diener. One of the things that uh, really shut Diener down was not necessarily the great individual defense on him. It was the uh, exorbitant pressure salt put on the other four players to keep them from being able to get him the ball. Because he didn't get a lot of shots here in the uh, second half. No, and if you if you <coughs> excuse me, if you recall against North, he was getting a lot of open shots from the outside, and he didn't have that open shot tonight. He was trying to work hard down low, and even that was didn't come easy. No, the South has uh, played outstanding defense, just like I suspected they would, and uh, they were able to overcome their first half uh, shooting rules. Because as you remember, they just couldn't buy a basket in the uh, first quarter. hit six out of eight. 73 to 57. 112 to go in the ball game. Jekyll on the drive off the glass for two. Real nice drive, but on the same, uh, Gebler played terrible defense. That's got to be intentional. Let's Berger see if they fall. He made no attempt to go after the ball. I don't think they are going to call, are they? No. The officials discuss it and decide. Uh, yep, there oh, it is. is. Okay, so they will it's get the. Go ahead, ahead Mike. They'll get the two shots and then uh, the uh, ball also. You know your rules. Yeah, what is it with that? <laughs> Normally you take care of that. I'm stealing your thunder again. Hey, that's all right. As long as we get it right. <laughs> Nate's a little off on that free throw. He missed two in the first quarter. He made two in the uh, earlier here in this quarter. Now he's missed this one. A couple of breakers there. So the Red Wings will inbound side out, as they say. And the South High students want the South High parents to stand up. And they are. what they went over and saw, asked uh, Foot for Skelsky, but Dick Diener wanted to be a part of it. That doesn't surprise you, does it? So the free throw parade continues. This time in the head float will be Ryan Miller. Yeah, that ball went on uh, Dallas Diener. That's his third foul, and he picked all of them up here in the fourth quarter. See if Miller can keep his uh, accurate free throw shooting going. He's got four in a row. <laughs> 16 point lead again for South. 75 59. South has turned an eight point halftime deficit into a 16 point insurmountable lead here with 50 seconds to go in the ball game. Jekyll from the free throw line around the rim and in. 
in the backcourt. There's a foul by Andy Rose. That for Andy is going to be his fifth, so he will have a seat. Andy had 14 points in the first quarter. He finishes with 18. Sheboygan South slow out of the gate in the first half tonight. Mike uh, found themselves with 10-point deficit, an 11 big as an 11-point uh, deficit in the second quarter. Uh, didn't. Things didn't look good at halftime. They were down by eight, but boy, they came out of the gate at halftime and just turned this thing around. They certainly did, and uh, again, not to belabor the point, but let's face it, this is the reason why Salt is gonna win by the margin they do, is their great defense just turned the, turn the game around. And we saw Fond du Lac uh, adjust to North uh, swarming defense, but uh, uh, Sheboygan South in the second half, just way too much for the Cardinals to handle. Coming in is going to be Brad Reinke. First, First time we've seen Brad in the two games for Fond du Lac, the 6-2 junior. So Sheboygan South doing it. And the big question today was how would they bounce back against the loss at Manitowoc? And it looked like uh, it didn't look like they were going to bounce back at all early on. But boy, did uh, the coaching staff make adjustments at halftime and uh, turn this thing around. I think one of the things that uh, Fond du Lac didn't do is they never were able to uh, figure out South's press. Right. They never were able to figure it out. I thought at, at one point I thought they might have, when they threw that long pass to uh, half court, and they were able to break the press real easily, but they weren't able to get back to that kind of uh, offensive maneuver. Jaco takes the baseline shot, making it a 77-63 to ball game. Again, a foul. That one will be against Dallas Diener. And this, this time it will be... Uh, Bergman, Bergman will get his. Well, he picked a good guy to foul. Nate has only made uh, <laughs> two out of six in the last time. Yeah, he, he didn't look line. real pretty, did he? No, he kind of looked like Casey Jekyll. Between does. him, I was just going to say, between him and Jekyll, they're getting no style points from oh, the line. That's for sure. There you see some happy uh, Red Wings. Well, Nate is going to make us eat a little crow, Al. He just made one. There you go. And he looked good doing it. Don't fall. 22 seconds to go here in the ball game. 79-63. Shot away off the mark. Loose ball. Gebler has it, and he leaves for Bergman. Bergman to Grams. Grams on the drive. Count it. 81 to 63. And it is over. Sheboygan South has done it. Your final score. Sheboygan South, 81. Fond du Lac, 63. We'll take a break. When we come back, the coach, Mike Martin, will have a couple of post-game guests for you. Back after this. They <laughs> waited for the buzz of that. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Welcome back to Sheboygan South as the Sheboygan South High Red Wings turn an eight-point deficit at halftime into a big 81 to 63 win to advance to the WIAA sectional semifinal that'll be here Friday. Down at the court is Mike Martin. Mike? And we're over here with uh, <laughs> TJ Grams and Ryan Miller. I'm all excited about this win as, as they are. Uh, tell me a little bit, TJ, what uh, coach said at halftime because uh, he had a, we had a bad foul on Diener. He made the three free throws, which bumped the lead up for them to eight points. Uh, he just said we had to play more with our heads instead of uh, like following stuff that wasn't a real smart foul and uh, we had to rotate over on them because we, we were getting a lot of pressure on them we had to keep that up defensively is really what turned the game around ryan i don't know how you feel that's what i felt sitting back and watching you boys play uh what did you do defensively that uh, caused so many problems for fond du Lac? um I, I think we just kept the ball out of diener's hands and bergman did a good job with number 10 higgins whatever uh, we just 
stopped the penetration and we stayed on Drew and that was, those were the keys. My partner Al asked before the game, was it an advantage or not, you guys having to skip a game? And I thought one of the advantages might be the fact that you guys got to see Fond du Lac play. How much of an advantage was that for you guys? Oh, that was a big advantage because not only did we get to scout them a little bit, but we they, they were tired. Um, from that game, we saw that we had to take it to the basket because Brian Lambert for North had he had a great game taken to the basket in the second half. You guys came out played a little zone defense there in the uh, second half. Tell me about that. What kind of zone defense was it? Well, it was just a trap. Once they crossed the, the timeline, we wanted to trap the ball, and it worked out for us. Well, you guys played an excellent basketball game. I thought that uh, Greg Summersberger and Mark Wolfel helped to pick up the slack for uh, your senior that couldn't play today, Brad Hartman. And uh, we're going to have to wrap this up now, guys. But uh, thanks a lot for winning, because now we get to do your game next Saturday, and we look forward to that and uh, win that one so we can go up to Fond du Lac and watch you guys one more time. We're going to send it back to Al now. All right, thank you, Mike. Again, uh, Schweigen South comes away with an 81-63 win. Quickly uh, to thank our sponsors tonight, your local Piggly Wiggly Supermarket, the Big Wheel Skate Center, the UW Center, Badger Optical, Tidy Car, the Laundry Center, and Lakeland College. Before we head out, I'd like to run down the scoring for your regional champion, South High Red Wings. Leading the way was the senior leader, Ryan Miller, with 18 points. C.J. Grahams had 12 Nate Bergman had 13, Ryan Gebler with four, Ryan Stubbe had six, Nick Kulo poured in 16 points, five for Mark Wolfel, and five for Greg Summersberger. That rounds out your scoring against Sheboygan South, 81 to 63 over Fond du Lac. They'll advance to next Friday's sectional semifinal. I hope you enjoyed this WSCS Classic. South overcame an eight point deficit to win by 18. Defense, as it does so many times, made the difference. Depth also proved vital to South's success. This completes our second season of Classics. It has been our pleasure to bring you these games. And remember, if you have a game you think could be a Classic, please call WSCS at 920-459-6663. Until next time, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. There are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series.